Len Lai was a famous kinetic artist from New Zealand. The Len Lai Centre is dedicated to his work and is the country's first single artist museum. Designed by Patterson Associates, the 8.3 million US dollar building integrates with the new art and cultural precinct in New Plymouth. It merges with an existing heritage art gallery in a converted cinema to create new archives, new exhibition space, education studios, a new 62-seater cinema, and a motor room to house Len Lai's kinetic works, all across 3,000 square meters of internal space. The building is renowned for its facade. It's formed by 20 14-meter high precast concrete columns that are clad in highly polished stainless steel, one of the main material industries in New Zealand's Taranaki region where New Plymouth is situated. Glazing is hidden within the deep pocketed recesses. The facade is intended to link rather than divide the external and internal environments. The form of its columns creates a curtain that reflects natural light into the building during the day and artificial light back out at night. The images and reflections drawing people in. From above, the colonnade's top edges create a coro form linking to the museum's Polynesian influences. Strict international standards mean that the museum must operate within precise indoor climate criteria at all times. To realise an asset with such complex physical geometry and with such a high performance requirement, the team worked within a building information modelling environment to ensure the best possible outcomes. The project team shared their graphical and non-graphical data in a common data environment acting as a single source of information for the scheme. Working with different graphical authoring software, they exported their graphical information models into IFC format, an international open file standard that others can read, to improve interoperability. This was done in several demonstration scenarios to start with, to ensure that protocols were tested and agreed amongst the team from day one. To coordinate the complex architectural and structural forms and the advanced internal systems, the project team continually developed and federated their models, effectively building the finished museum virtually at design stage. This paid huge dividends with the facade and meant that the interlocking concrete forms were accurately positioned. Having a clear understanding of the building's systems and how they would perform in use enabled the team to reduce the costs of their installation. Museums of this size typically require two to three plant rooms, but the team were able to plan the Len Lai Centre into just one plant space. They also coordinated with the HVAC engineers and subconsultants to improve the route of ductwork runs through the building. The information model was also used to simulate daylighting, sun paths and heat gains across the facade, a critical aspect to get right. It also enabled Len Lai staff to easily sign off design proposals and to test place artwork within the virtual building, forward planning exhibitions two years before the gallery actually opened. Heading to site, data within the information model was extracted to provide construction issue documentation and to inform programming and costing. The architectural model of the facade columns was transferred directly to the precast concrete manufacturers. This ensured a high degree of accuracy and saved the time typically required to create separate fabrication plans. Throughout the two-year construction period, contractors were able to access the information model and the 2D data generated from it on tablets. This helps them to better understand and visualise proposals, avoiding rework and resolving issues much faster where they did arise. Completed in 2016, the Len Lai Centre is now one of New Zealand's leading BIM case studies, a shimmering monument to a key part of the country's heritage and an impressive step forward into its future. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it with a friend and to get more like this, subscribe to the B1M.